The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To solve this equation, we start by distributing the negative 3 through the parentheses on the right side. Negative 3 times c is negative 3c. And negative 3 times negative 6 is positive 18. So our equation now reads 6 equals negative 3c plus 18. Our next step is to get the c term by itself on the right side. So we subtract 18 from both sides. On the left, 6 minus 18 is negative 12. And on the right, the 18 and minus 18 cancel, and we're left with negative 3c. So we have negative 12 equals negative 3c. And to get c by itself, we divide both sides by negative 3. On the left side, negative 12 divided by negative 3 is positive 4. And on the right, the negative 3's cancel, and we're left with c. So positive 4 equals c. If we check our answer by plugging a 4 back in for c in the original problem, we have 6 equals negative 3 times 4 minus 6. Since 4 minus 6 is negative 2, we have 6 equals negative 3 times negative 2, or 6 equals 6, which is a true statement. So our answer checks. Notice that you really have to know how to work with positives and negatives in order to solve the equations in this section. If you need a review of positives and negatives, go back to the first two sections in this unit. <laughs> 